The Philippines is the only emerging Southeast Asian country, whose economy does not historically rely on the oil and gas industry. Unlike in its neighboring major Asian countries, where economic growth was primarily backed up by its oil and gas production. In fact, the Philippines' oil and gas industry is the least developed amongst the ASEAN 6, with a production of only 9,650 barrels per day. While its daily consumption is about 429,000 barrels. Making the country the biggest importer of petroleum products for domestic use in the region. In comparison to their neighboring rich oil-producing countries, where oil production contributed a significant portion to their economies. Why is the Philippines produce less as compared to its neighbor, when they are situated in the same geographical location? Accordingly, the nation holds a staggering $26.3 trillion worth of untapped oil deposits, located within the country's 200-mile exclusive economic zone. The vast oil reserves of the Philippines are found in various parts of the archipelago, specifically the Reed Bank, the largest of them all, and the Mischief Reef in the Spratly Islands. According to a report by the U.S. Geological Survey and China's Ministry of Geology and Mineral Resources, the oil deposits on Spratly's Island could reach 17.1 billion barrels. With the recent discovery of oil reserves in the Sulu, particularly within the Celebes Sea. The amount of hydrocarbon deposits in the country could be more than $26.3 trillion, more than the 13 billion barrels of oil deposits of Kuwait, one of the world's top oil producers. This is more than enough to free the country out of poverty, and the Philippines would not have to import expensive oil. In fact, the country would be an exporter of oil products and at the same time, provide an answer to the unabated rise of gasoline prices almost every week. The Philippines is sitting on a mountain of gold. Within the country's 200-mile exclusive economic zone, are potentially recoverable hydrocarbon deposits. Worth an estimated of more than $26.3 trillion. More than enough to develop the country into an advanced economy. One of the reasons why the Philippines is unable to materialize its oil reserve is the security challenges and geopolitical disputes. The vast oil reserves of the Philippines are in various parts of the archipelago, specifically the Reed Bank, the largest of them all. And the Mischief Reef in Kalayan Island Group, as well as the other basins are located within or in the surrounding disputed Spratly Islands. A group of islands and associated reefs, banks, and cays located in the South China Sea are subject to a territorial dispute between China, the Philippines, Taiwan, Malaysia, Vietnam, and Brunei. The Philippines' hydrocarbon fuel self-sufficiency remains a pipe dream for the government for decades. Though it's not a question of where and how much the deposit is, it is a question of when it will be fully materialized. When commercial production began, the Philippines would not have to import expensive oil. In fact, the country would be an exporter of oil products and simultaneously provide an answer to the unabated rise of gasoline prices when the supply chain is disrupted. In addition, it will have a huge impact on the Philippines' economy. According to the Philippine Statistics Authority, the share of the oil industry particularly non-renewable resources been only 0.19% of the gross domestic product GDP, for the last 20 years. This industry is also one of the most significant contributors to manufacturing costs. Once commercial production started, granting that the surveys are accurate, it could potentially provide a significant portion of the Philippines' gross domestic product. In comparison to Indonesia, the region's biggest oil producer with a production of about 743,000 barrels per day in 2020, contributed at least $140 billion annually, or about 12% of its economy. 
If the Philippines can produce at least the same level or a bit higher than Indonesia, the country's oil and gas industry can contribute at least $150 billion or more annually to the country's economy. Making the Philippines the second biggest economy in the region, surpassing Thailand with a GDP nominal of $505.9 billion. This will also enhance the competitive edge of the country in terms of manufacturing goods. With a lower production cost, the Philippines can now compete with Vietnam and Indonesia, the region's cheapest producer of goods. Making the country an ideal alternative location for manufacturing hubs in Asia. Those, increasing the overall direct foreign investment in the country. In addition, transportation costs and other basic commodity prices will be now more economical. With locally produced oil, means no more import cost, making petroleum products cheaper. In effect, transportation and other logistics will be cheaper, lowering the cost of basic commodities such as agricultural and other processed products. When commodity prices are low, and even the household income remains unchanged, it means higher disposable income for the family. In other words, a household's regular income would afford more amount of goods. With these, inflation in the country will remain low. Currently, a 10% rise in oil prices could add 0.4 percentage points to Philippine inflation. To add, the Central Bank of the Philippines also sees the high oil prices to drive inflation as high as between 2% to 6%. This situation will be diluted when the Philippines will produce domestic petroleum products. Overall, these will enhance the private domestic consumption of Filipinos which remains the main driver of the economy, accounting for 70% of the country's economy. In the long run, sustained oil price hikes can slow down the growth of an economy. Like an ordinary household, the Philippine economy, in general, is also up for a rough ride. Production, transportation, and manufacturing costs are also driven up by high oil prices. While consumers are still not shouldering these costs, producers cannot cushion them for long. As a result, these will be passed down to the consumers, increasing the overall prices of goods and services, and causing inflation. The impact of increasing oil prices does not limit to an economic slowdown and high inflation, it will also affect investments. With an expected slowdown of economic growth and rising production costs, companies also adjust their revenue expectations. The significance of producing domestic petroleum products has a material effect on the overall economy. The oil and gas industry will only not support the creation of a domestic job, but most importantly provides lower energy costs for consumers, and ensures the energy security of the country. The affordability and accessibility of domestically produced oil and gas, are infusing hundreds of billions of dollars into new Philippines manufacturing, supporting the development of new jobs, infrastructure, and economic opportunity in communities throughout the country. Lower energy costs, driven by more massive oil and gas supply, support private sector investment in the country, and further by economic growth. The Philippines Department of Energy has outlined an overly ambitious two-fold agenda of attaining energy security, and implementing power market reforms. By 2040, the Philippine oil and gas sector intends to increase reserves and in production of local oil, gas, and coal. Improved downstream oil industry policies, for the continuous supply of high-quality and quantity petroleum products, and establish an investment-driven natural gas industry in the Philippines. The Philippines assumes that the population will increase from 110 million in 2020 to 148 million in 2040. Such plans are critical as the country faces a loss of almost 30% of its fuel supply source, which will impact approximately 3,000 megawatts of generation in 2024 when the Malampaya natural gas fields are expected to be depleted. The nation needs to find a new source of energy to compensate for this loss as it seeks to maintain its economic growth and support the country's infrastructure boom. The country has proven the presence of commercial quantities of hydrocarbons in its territory, both onshore and offshore. The industry, however, is underexplored and underfunded due to some security concerns. Since the 1970s, only a few wells had been drilled, supplying a small chunk of the domestic oil and gas demand for its more than 110 million inhabitants. 
Total domestic production of petroleum and other liquids was 37,000 barrels per day, compared to the country's daily consumption of 474,000 barrels according to the Department of Energy. Some of the oil and gas are found in the disputed Spratly chain of islands, where active oil fields are now supplying the rest of the country. Other prospective deposits are believed to be found inland and offshore waters including those in the northern province of Cagayan, Rage Gulf in Bicol, offshore Mindoro, the new Palawan Block, northern Cebu and the Cotabato Basin. These are the present and prospective oil fields in the country, as the Philippines is seeking to revive its moribund upstream oil industry. The Malampaya oil and gas oil field, 50 kilometers west of Palawan Island has produced a total of 1.9 trillion standard cubic feet of gas as of the end of 2017 and 75 million barrels of natural gas liquids. It supplies five power plants in Luzon, the country's largest island, with a combined capacity of 3,200 megawatts. Cadlao's oil field estimated recoverable volumes of 6.2 million barrels of oil are unlikely to have a huge impact on local supply. But it will help minimize the import of petroleum products. Oil production could start by 2024. In 2018, an estimated 27.9 million barrels of inland oil was discovered in Alegria Cebu by the Department of Energy and Service Contractor China International Mining Petroleum Company Limited, with an estimated 3.4 million barrels of recoverable oil. An estimated 9.4 billion cubic feet of natural gas reserves were found, with up to 6.6 .6 billion cubic feet of recoverable gas, about 70% of the total estimated gas reserves. The Liguasan Marsh, which covers 2,200 hectares straddling the provinces of Cotabato, Maguindano, and Sultan Kudarat, is estimated to hold 3.4 trillion cubic feet of natural gas and 4.8 billion barrels of crude oil. Earlier this year, the Department of Energy has given the green light to SK Liguasan Oil and Gas Corporation, a Mindanao-based exploration firm, to develop Area 9 of the Cotabato Basin. The Benham Rise is located off the coast of Aurora Province, the northernmost part of the Philippines. Which was suspected to have a rich deposit of petroleum, was found that no potential oil reserved. But a rich source of minerals, and other aquatic resources, like gas hydrates or methane. Other potentially huge fields had been earmarked within the country's undisputed territories, such as the Sulu Sea and parts of the Celebes Sea, in the vast seas off the southern Philippines.